Hey, and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you today how I edit Bible Talk uh, Bible classes. It's a little bit of a process, and there's some th good things that uh, you can learn, hopefully, from how I do it. So let's go ahead and get in into it. So yesterday we shot a Bible class in our series, The Kingdom Parables, and so I'm going to edit uh, that class for you today. So I have a template that I've created, which has the... Um, the bare bones structure of, of a Bible class. If you haven't seen one of our Bible classes, uh, they look like this. Let me pull one up for you from uh, from last week, if I can find one. And so they have a, All right, so they have a split is screen the, uh, the look. Um, is Mike is over on one side, here. his PowerPoints are in another, and then there's a shell around it that is the um, design of each series. And so these all change, but they all change the look, but they all have the same uh, format. Right, this one was shot in our fellowship hall, so he's in the background with some fake trees. But you can see the pattern across the top and the PowerPoint on the right. If I skip ahead, you can see, okay, there's one, there's two, okay. And then we go full screen for a little bit so you can see it. And then when he reads a Bible uh, verse, we always go full screen on a Bible verse. And then when we come back, it normally goes into the little side window. but Sometimes it doesn't like this one when he just goes right, in, right into a point um, after a Bible verse. So let's jump back in. Okay, so I have a Bible class template. I'm going to command C and copy that into my kingdom parables number seven. And so here, I now have a copy of that template. I'm going to change this to number seven and I'm going to open it up. So in this, I'm using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, and so all that will be taking place in there and that is part of the creative cloud suite so I recommend uh, this software because it gives you a lot of a lot of great stuff um, so here you have it so we have um, our, our template over here where you're just, this is going to be where the person uh, is speaking our case Mike the, the teacher and then I have a blank slide in there a placeholder as you can see which is where the slides are going to go the first thing I like to do is change my sequence name to the um, the sequence uh, uh, the number lesson that we're in, and so we have that. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading in my file into my project window, and that's going to take a second. But what I need to do first, after I've got that going, is open up my PowerPoint and I need to change some stuff. So his PowerPoint he uses on a overhead behind him, and so the whole class sees it. But for mine, sometimes I go full screen. And that's, I want the full look, which is like the one you see right here. And then for the little uh, window, when it goes into the split screen view, I do a, a duplicate on this slide. And I have different layouts that are, are similar to this. So you see I have a home page, a title, a Bible verse, a list, and a single statement. And I also have the same um, different templates without the pattern on them. So if you click here, you see that this one is now flat and this one is patterned. And so that's the difference between our, those two templates. And you can download these templates on our website. If you want to start like with one of ours, you can go into BibleTalk.tv. You can go into series, click on one of the series. And over here you have download all slides, graphics, lesson notes. And so in the graphics, you'll get all the, the different masks and layouts and, and background patterns. And in slides, you'll get all the PowerPoint files. And I believe I even include the, a template file that will allow you to to uh, change that template quickly and then make all the other ones off of that. So those are all available on our on our website. And so now I'm just going through here and I, I'm doing a command D to duplicate and then I'm converting it to a with title blank and you can see that the pattern's gone out. And that's just because in this little window over here I don't want a bunch of pattern in here and then pattern on the edges. I want the pattern to stay out here and then in the inside here to be pretty flat so that it's not like pattern on top of pattern uh, making a big mess. All right, I'm gonna keep going. So um, let's go, I'm gonna go back to our PowerPoint and I've got another one. So I duplicate it, change it to a title with verse. Oh, so here's our first verse. I'm gonna duplicate it and make it a Bible verse that's a flat one. So we'll fade up full screen to this. And then when we fade out that big one, we come back to this one being in the side window, which you'll see in a little bit. So I'm going to continue doing this throughout the whole document. All right, so I'm finishing up 
I'm finishing up the uh, PowerPoints here, just have one more, so I'm commanding, and it's a title one, so now it's a blank title. All right, so there, I finished my whole document. As you can see, it ends up making your document a little long because you've duplicated almost every, every slide, and so you go up and you hit File, and you're gonna export these as JPEGs, and so I'm shooting at, uh, we're shooting our lessons at 4K, and so I know that the size of that is 380, uh, 3840 by 2160. If you're doing 1080p, you would just put in 1920 and that would give you 1080 and 720 you would put, I think it's what, 1280. So that would give you the different different sizes. So we're going 48, whoa, 3840. And I'm gonna just give them a set S. This is um, the name you put here will create a folder inside here and then all the images will be inside that old folder. So I just call it S for slides. You can call it whatever you want. And so those are exporting. However, no message. There's the message, all right. Proof that something's happening. So let's just go ahead and close that out. Save it up. So go back to our project uh, in the Finder. And we've got all the slides there as uh, 4K images. So we can just go ahead and drag those back in. So the first thing you're probably noticing here is that this is not the right pattern uh, for our video. So that I can do by right clicking on the mask, which as you see, if I double click in here, is just the top and the bottom. This is, is transparent in the middle. If I right click on that, the way I do that is I just re right click replace footage and I go into, um, I have to figure out where I saved that thing. And I go into Kingdom Parables, Miscellaneous, Mask, and then boom, it changes it to the uh, to the other thing. So there we have it. I have it now. I have a template with the correct uh, mask pattern slide thing and then so we're gonna get going. Let's get that uh, mp4 file that we shot. And we're gonna drag it in um, into the bottom um, video layer one. And if you look at my layers I have the video layer one where I'm gonna have the video. Then above it I in my template I just have an adjustment layer for if I, if I need to change the um, colors or something on it, then the adjustment layer is automatically there. And then I have the slide placeholder, and then the mask is going to be on the top covering everything. And the V5 is when I'm going to pull my slide, my full screen slide is going to even cover the mask. So that is why this is set up this way. So as you see that uh, the video is off to the side, so I click into my controls, and I know that it's roughly uh, 71, and I just slide them over here. Looks like I was a little far back. So I'm just gonna pull them in somewhere in there. What I like to do is just have a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the uh, pulpit there, the lectern um, showing at the bottom, just so you can kind of make sure, okay, this guy isn't just floating in the box on this side. And as you can see in this one, I'm actually gonna have to do a little adjustment on it. I think it's just a little red. I don't know what happened there. Um, so I click on my adjustment layer. I go into color, and I'm probably gonna just turn the temperature to something else, just down a little bit. Might make it a little brighter too. Always when I do a little brightness, you do a little contrast. And let's just see what this one's got. No, no, no. Yeah, somewhere, ooh, ooh. I think that green shirt threw off of my balance. Eh, that's too much. Somewhere in there, I'd say. I like, eh, you can do that on your own, how you want, kind of thumb through, see how it looks. So there he is, he's in his side window, we're good to go with that, and we still have the uh, the slide template, so I need to jump back over to, uh, oh, I'm in the color, I need to jump back to my house. This, this is my layout that I like, it's similar to the editing one, which just puts your project window here and two big things here. I don't use my my my, I don't know what you call this, the source window, as often as uh, as what apparently most people do in editing. I don't need it as big, so mine's a lot smaller in this format. Yours might look a little different, but the, the different boxes are all all there. So I click into my click into my slides, and I'm gonna grab, so the first one was the one with the pattern, so I'm gonna grab the second one. And so here's kind of one of the tricks you gotta know about how I, I do this, and that is holding down the Option key. Um, looks like that's the Alt key in Windows. And so as you hold that down, 
and you drag that over to the slide placeholder, that's going to give what you're dragging to um, the same properties as what's in the timeline. So if I gave it four and I drag, drag hold on alt, drag it in, it's going to pop it right in that same spot with the same uh, effects over here where it's position and it's scale. This is all going to get, this is going to stay the same. That's only if you hold down the option key. So that, that's how we're going to do a lot of it because we're going to use a lot of cutting, splicing, and then sliding in the next slide. And um, we'll just get going and you'll kind of see how it, how it, how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is find his starting spot. All right, the kingdom para. That was pretty quick. When you shoot 4K, you don't want to shoot a lot of just extra roll there because it adds up to quite a bit of space that you're saving on your on your your drives. So I'm I hit the C, I hit C to do a cut, and I found it. I cut it right at the beginning of it, and then I click on that first little bit, and then you can even click on this blank space here, and I'll just click delete and that'll shoot it all back to the beginning. So as we go right, here, Kingdom Parable, he's talking. This is lesson number seven in this uh, series. The title of this lesson, Parable of the Wheat and Tares. And if you're following along in your Bibles, we will be in Matthew chapter 13. So this week and next week, we're going to be actually completing our series. We have one more lesson after this one. Uh, we did. So here, if you've, uh, if you've made notes while you're shooting something about when things are, that could save you a lot of time knowing that, okay, he hit slide number three at the four minute mark, and then he hit slide number five at the five minute mark. I created a little um, helper thing called Slide Tracker. Let's see if it still exists. I haven't used it in a while. Well, look at that, number one. And so this is a little app I made too that can help you do that. So you can just start a new session the count uh, starts going and you can just hit add. Okay, so slide number one was at four seconds. And then slide number two, as you, you just pull this up like on your phone or on an iPad or something while you're watching the lesson. And then if you want, you can even like make a note and say, okay, on the second slide, he coughed. So boom, there's your little note. And then when you're done, you just click email me these slides, which uh, fires open an email window with your with your uh, a list of your stuff. So that's just a little added bonus there I'm throwing in for you, to you for free. So I'm going to jump so now I'm going to jump ahead and find okay, see what his next slide is. So number 1 was the full screen which I use at the end of a video. Number 2 is the blank one so it's not pattern on pattern. Let me just show you what that looks like so you see why. So you'd see, okay, this pattern, it doesn't even match up. It just looks like patterns all over the place. So let's, let's grab that. I'm holding down option. That is option. I had to double check. Option and slap that back in there, which just makes it a little nicer. So let's pull up number three, and we're going to find when he, say, when he gets to that slide. That, um, these were teachings designed, these teachings on the uh, kingdom parables were designed to do a couple. So right there. Um, the thing that's nice about what we've done here is I've got him controlling his own slides on an iPad. And as you can see when I'm watching along, and so if I'm like scrubbing real fast, I can kind of watch for when he goes to tap the iPad. And that gives me a cue that, hey, I come in here and say, oh, look, I'm scrubbing along. Right when he taps it, boom, his finger's down. I'll hit C, which is the splice. What do they call it? They call it the razor tool. Didn't know that. And then you can make on the slide um, uh, layer number three on that slide thing I made a little cut and then I go up here this is my full screen I'm not going to use it so that slide was wasted um, I use um, I use the full screen maybe to like cover when he wants to take a drink or if he coughs or something like that but for here I'm just going to grab the blank look because I'm just going to slide it right in here so I take this I slide it and I I'm holding down option and I let it go on this slide and you can see it popped right in there. So if we go back a little bit to see how that looks. Yeah, Kingdom Parables were designed to do a couple of things. It's like he's First changing all, his own slide in the, the video also. The like it was recorded that live Jesus almost. That's kind of my goal with that. So we're going to keep scrubbing along. Oh, did you see right there? I saw his hand move down so I know somewhere in there. 
He's going to get to point number two. Describe his kingdom. I don't always be this uh, peculiar about um, getting his thing to hit right when he gets his finger down. It looks a lot better, so I probably should commit more time to it. Um, so let's play that back. Also, uh, it was a device used to separate the believers from the unbelievers. So there's that. I'm going to scrub ahead. So that's pretty much the editing of the split screen. And um, the only thing that's really different is when he gets into a Bible verse, which he looks like he will here in a second. So I'll show that. The very first one. All right, I saw his finger going. So I think he's going to read it. Here we go. Let's listen. One that he spoke, this one here, the second one. So let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 13. And so here I see he's going. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this to the top level. So now you see it's covered the mask. If I, if I hide it, boom, we're over the whole video. You can click on the video and hit Command D and that'll pop on a fade onto it, whatever your default transition is. Mine is the fade, most of the times it is. So let's see what that, that goes up over the top. And so now what I need to do is he's gonna come back down um, to, I'm gonna come back out of this um, Bible verse into him being next to the Bible verse. So underneath it, where you no one can see, you do a little splice, and we get the next one, which is the same verse um, with just the bat, with no pattern, and we drag that into uh, slide number eight. So we get seven on top, see eight's below. What the Lord is teaching us. So we begin verse twenty-four. Jesus. He's reading along his Bible another verse. Parable to them, saying, "The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field." So. So there, he's, he's, I don't jump back immediately. I give there a little bit of buffer uh, most of the time. So see here, he's already going into it. Although sometimes what the, you could do is, uh, Mike, our teacher, he's, he's reading his notes, working off of his lesson notes. Um, so you could wait, I mean, if it's not too long, you could look to see if he's looking up at his spots. So it's always nicer to come back from the split screen to him looking at the camera, looking at the crowd. And so as you see there, here's the full screen. We fade back down to um, the same verse being next to him. And so I'm gonna give a little theory about why we, we do it this way. And uh, it's been asked several times when I'm at events. And um, as you see, Mike is reading his lesson notes. And so you've got a preacher who's um, looking down a lot and you've got the PowerPoint, which if you're in a Bible class, you can see uh, whenever you want. You can see by just looking over there, sometimes you're looking at the teacher, sometimes you're looking at the PowerPoint, and so we are trying to recreate that experience in the video. We're not trying to be entertainment, we're not trying to be something we're not, we're Bible teaching videos. So we've come up with this format which we feel works the best uh, for this. We want the we want the Bible verses to always be big and, and, and readable, so we pull those full screen, come back to them, because sometimes he points something out in them, and so it's nice to have, see side by side what, what's going on there. That's the idea behind that. So that's, that's pretty much the idea going through the whole video. Um, you're going to cut, slice, new slide in, fade up things when you want. If you take, if you have a cough, a drink, something you want to cut out, then you just you drag the big slide over the top of it and then come back to it with a splice underneath it. I hope that makes sense for this first video. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. I'll hope to answer them. And then I'll also link below the final video if you want to check out the entire edit and what, what happened with it and how it, how it worked out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll try to do more of these. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you like, and um, new stuff will be coming out often. Thank you.